A new asteroid with the nickname The Beast will be flying by Earth this weekend, and it's cutting it pretty close. At a range of only a little over 700,000 miles, which is actually pretty close, this asteroid will be whizzing by us on Sunday, June 8th, and it's the size of a football field. That's quite big, considering the fact that the meteor that exploded over Russia last year, injuring over 1,200 people, was only 50 to 60 feet wide. According to Space.com, this new asteroid was discovered on April 23, 2014 by NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, a sky mapping space telescope. It's more than a little disconcerting that an asteroid of this size that could do some pretty devastating damage on Earth was only discovered two months ago. The asteroid's official name is 2014 HQ124, but we think calling it the Beast is much more appropriate. Pope Francis will be praying for peace tomorrow at the Vatican. It's something popes do often, but this time he won't be alone. He's invited Israel's President Shimon Peres and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas to join him. Alan Pizzi's in Rome with more on this unprecedented meeting. Alan, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Well, the ceremony has been billed as an effort to end what a Vatican spokesman called eternal negotiations rather than as a political meeting. No one presumes that peace will break out on Monday, the spokesman said. It's the first time such a meeting has ever taken place in the Vatican, a setting about as far removed from the squalor of Middle East wars and politics as you can get. The invitation came as an apparently spontaneous announcement by Pope Francis during his trip to the Holy Land, although CBS News has learned that both the Palestinians and Israelis had been contacted in advance through back channels. The Vatican has been at pains to insist that the Pope is not intervening in one of the world's most complex diplomatic problems, although his now iconic moment at the massive security wall that separates Palestinians and Israelis was seen as exactly that. Anything concrete out of the prayer meeting would be akin to a miracle. The so-called peace process has defied the best efforts of the U.S. and other would-be mediators for 20 years. Last month, Secretary of State John Kerry basically admitted that there was little to be done until both parties decided to be serious. Israeli President Shimon Peres is an advocate of the peace process, but has no political power and leaves office next month. Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas says he wants to talk, but hasn't found a way to dominate Palestinian politics enough to give him real authority with the Israelis. The leaders will spend about two hours at an intricately planned service of prayers and meditations in the order of the founding of the three religions, Judaism, Christianity, and then Islam. The Vatican characterizes the service as an attempt to reopen a door that's been closed for some time. Pope Francis may not be intervening, but then again in normal life, the concierge often holds the key. Anthony? Alan Pizzi in Rome. Thanks, Alan.